Hey. You there? I'm uh, I'm here. You look like you're out on a boat somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh uh cold. It's cold and it's windy, but that's okay. We're going to do this. Okay. All right. But uh, I mean, you can see it for for right now. Um let's just I'll I'll do it overall. You take a look at the uh, motor overall. Are you seeing okay so far? Well, I see portions of it. I don't see all of it, so all right, uh, let me step back a bit. Yes, yeah, so set. Yeah, center it up a little more. There you go. Yeah, that's a little you get better. It okay. Yep. Yep. That's better. Now that is what? That's an Evan Root or what? What's the original? The uh, the donor comes from uh, the folks that make the uh, the two stroke motors and smaller motors for Yamaha. Oh, for Yamaha. Okay. Right, so what you are actually looking at is a uh, uh, 40 horsepower two-stroke uh, chassis that's okay. used as the donor. All right. So, uh, yep. um, the, I think what's really neat about that versus what a lot of proprietary people do, like Torquedo, and believe I'm not doing a Torquedo bash. I'm not even going to go there. Okay. Uh, I think what's great. Um, I like the approach of being able to have – off-the-shelf parts. You know, I've run to a Yamaha dealer when I'm in trouble. If I have a lower unit problem, or even if I just need a prop, or if I need a, uh, uh, you know, something as simple as a anti-corrosion device, you know, uh, uh, um, like an anode down at the bottom there, just little things. Right. You know, all this stuff is sourced out so simple, and I think that's important. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this. Uh, tablet down for a second all right and i'm going to take the off so you can get a good look all right Hold okay on a second yep uh yeah if you pull back just a little there we go okay yep all right good now um you can see uh that smaller rectangular uh shiny silver box like thing mounted there that's called the throttle pot right that's actually uh drive-by wire throttle for this system okay the, uh, the component that you see uh, on, on a slight angle there, on like a 5-degree, uh, 10-degree angle, yep. that's a motor controller. Yeah. Okay, and it will handle, uh, well, it's rated at 96 volts. It'll handle up to 120. At 120, it kicks off. It also handles a 240-amp uh, continuous current with a 600-amp peak. Okay? All right. Right in front of that is our motor. That's um that's a uh, a uh, again 96 volt rated uh, a PMAC water cool. Uh, the max RPM for this motor is 7500, and uh, its the rated torque is 50 newton meters. Okay, at uh, 225 amps. Okay. Now, how does this compare to the 40 horse uh, two stroke that was in there? Uh, you're right at the same level. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, it's unfortunate we've got such a windy, cold day, and maybe we could revisit this for some uh, trips on the water. I do have some uh, one video of this actually on the water on YouTube. So, uh, and I can. I'll send you a link to that. If you okay. Have already yeah. Done. Yeah. That's that'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. Hey, I got to say, it, uh, it is right on the mark. You know, assuming Mercury's uh, data that they put out for the same size vessel, the 17 foot John boat, using their 40 horsepower, four stroke. Uh, it was right there, um, all the way up to uh, 4,000 RPM. I'm not able to get it beyond 4,000 RPM, but really at that point you're doing almost you're doing around 20 miles an hour, and it's a John boat after all, not a sport boat. So, right, right. Now this this motor would probably be better better suited for maybe a 16 foot, but it does the job nicely even on this older 17 foot aluminum. It's it, this one's a little heavy. This this boat is actually rated for a 70 horsepower. Okay. But it really has no problem putting it in line. And like I say, pushing it up to around uh, 20 miles an hour for a John boat, that's fa fairly respectable. Okay? All right. Yep, yep.